from its record snowfall. It's kind of funny, Gordon, because all the snow actually has people once again debating a hot topic, global warming. Here's reporter Paul Strand. These massive winter storms have left about a third of Americans shivering and digging out of deep snow. In many places, it's record amounts of snow, like here in the nation's capital. And not surprisingly, it's revived the debate over global warming. It's just another nail in the coffin of the whole global warming thing. Warming critic Senator James Inhofe even built an igloo and called it Al Gore's new home. But scientists say the issue should not be simply political. Science is not partisan, uh, and it should not be partisan. The media quickly rushed out stories defending global warming, despite the huge snowfalls. Some scientists insist this last decade is the warmest since records have been kept, and that all that warm air stirs up the atmosphere and makes for much more violent storms, including snowstorms. Critics say that claim of this past decade being the warmest just isn't true, and that warming actually stopped 13 years ago. But even though supporters of global warming now say record snow is a sign that the theory is true, they were also quick to blame global warming when there wasn't much snow, as seen in these clips from Breitbart TV. One snow, three inches. And having snow snow is consistent with what the models predict will become a significant problem for us in the future. Now we're seeing the early warning signs. People can come down to this floor and say whatever they want. We've seen melting of snow. Now Democrat leaders admit they pretty much have to give up on passing a cap and trade bill this year to tax and slow greenhouse gas emissions. First, they had to deal with the scandal showing some scientists had altered data over the last couple of decades to cover up evidence the globe's cooling, not warming. Then the embarrassment of a false scientific claim that all the Himalayas glaciers would be gone by 2035. Science is cooked, and I think most people agree with that now. Now the Senate Democrats leader, Harry Reid, calls trying to get cap and trade passed in this snowy cold climate a headache. One snowy winter or a winter without snow does not make or break a theory, but it's worth noting that during the exceptionally cold winters of 1977 through 79, the media blamed it on the pet theory of that day, global cooling. Paul Strand, CBN News, Washington. Uh, we seem to have a lot of pet theories, and I hope we... Uh finally get into some real science. Back, back a couple years ago, we did a report from an MIT climatologist that said, wait a minute, uh, you can't make any kind of predictive analysis based on the amount of data that you're looking at, and you've got to stretch it out over a 100-year period, and assuming there was accuracy in those measurements 100 years ago, this is just but a minor trend. There's, there's no real uh, evidence in his mind uh, that we're facing some kind of global catastrophe if we don't reduce carbon. Um, anyway, the, the joke these days, Christy, is that uh, uh, this snow won't stop until Al Gore says uncle. <laughs> Hopefully he says uncle. <laughs> Al, just say uncle. Just say Because I'm ready for it to stop. All right, we're going to say uncle. <laughs>